Welcome to Hamburg and welcome to this beautiful place. Actually, it's one of the best places in town we have to open this conference, to open the City Science Summit 2019, and it's such a great honor for our city to host the third City Science Summit after Andorra and Shanghai. And of course, I don't see you all, but I heard that around about 400, 500 people here already, and the list of participants, of course, is long international and, and top level, and I can't say uh, to all of you in individually hello, but uh, like this, welcome so much uh, to Hamburg, and I'm very much looking forward to sharing some time with you here at Hamburg's uh, really popular landmark, the Elbphilharmonie. Um, you're all members of the uh, City Science Network. You are network partners from Boston, from Quito, Buenos Aires, Barcelona, Andorra, Helsinki, Cairo, Dubai, Taipei, Shanghai, Beijing. Wow, that sounds really uh, impressive and amazing. And you're all established ac experts as high-level CEOs and academics of all career stages. Mayors from various cities around the globe have registered. What a diverse and international group, and that really makes us proud and once again a very very warm welcome because you all share a passion we also have the passion for the future of our cities and today and tomorrow you will have the chance to focus on up-to-date and urgent questions you will have the opportunity to discuss new approaches develop new innovative ideas how urban spaces in international metropolis can develop in the future and I'm very curious to hear and learn more from your expertise as our city here in Hamburg is changing uh, at a rapid pace actually. Just now we are really realizing and we are actually in this area, Europe's biggest urban development project, the Hafen City around this uh, beautiful concert hall and other urban projects such as the Science City, not City Science but Science City uh, Barenfeld which is a district of Hamburg in the western part. They are already in the queue and more are still to come. So actually we look at science and I as the uh, minister, we, we look at science from many different perspectives but also from the perspective of urban development and urban build and uh, what contribution science actually uh, can do and so we are kind of excited to have the first time in Hamburg's history um, a new quarter, a new uh, district uh, that has been triggered and motivated and pushed uh, by, by science and by research and by technology transfer and that is uh, really, really exciting for us. So that, therefore it is um, a great honor for our city to host such a visionary summit. And of course, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you all here. And uh, before I continue, I would like uh, to give a tremendous thank you to Geza Zima and her team of the City Science Lab. I spoke to some of them outside and actually came to some of your colleagues, uh, recognized them from uh, last year. I think you did a fantastic job setting up this conference. It is such a promising program, and I think you will have like fun-filled uh, days of discussions, uh, talks, uh, high-profile keynote speaks, uh, interactive workshops, and, and other sessions. And, and of course, tomorrow the general public is invited to. So I would really, really like uh, to give a, a hand to Geza for bringing this summit to Hamburg and for making this meeting possible. I think this is uh, spectacular. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I think we are all aware, and I just mentioned it, that the times for global politics are currently very challenging. I would even dare to say that the times are extremely uh, challenging. And um, I think we have to look what is happening in the cities because actually today uh, more than 50% uh, um, of the population lives in cities and it is more to come. And I think this is the place where the smart ideas and solutions of tomorrow will happen to transfer them to, to the country, countrysides, and, and of course to all fields of, of political uh, sphere. And so it is so um, fascinating for us uh, to see what is possible when I take a look at the uh, city science lab here in Hamburg. And uh, we, we met Lu you last year. Uh, in Boston, and it was such a fasc fascinating experience to see. And 
what kind of different fields um, we actually can use the mechanisms of the City Science Lab to find solutions for today and for tomorrow and what we did here in Hamburg uh, for three, four years ago when we had the huge wave of refugees coming to Europe, to Germany and in particular to the cities uh, with the help uh, of the uh, City Science Lab here at the Hafen City University, which was introduced after we signed the cooperation contract with you, with the MIT in Boston, was to invite people, the people of Hamburg, to really discuss uh, the mega challenge of housing for refugees. And people realized, oh, I can't just say welcome to everybody and at the same time say it's good to have them, but not anywhere around my place. Uh, so people from all walks of life were invited uh, to discuss the issue of refugee housing and they realized that there is no black and white answer, but they realized there is something in between and that is political debate and political discussion and find a consensus and to compromise. And this all helps besides the technical aspect to understand how a society works and I think that is a big, big contribution to democracy and uh, what we see at the MIT and what we see here at the Hafen City University uh, really paves, uh, paves the way uh, for, for a new form of understanding, of participation, of people's participation. And we actually want to uh, push that to an even higher level. I don't know whether there are already representatives here from the United Nations and from our foreign ministry, but this afternoon I think it is we will uh, sign a contract or a um, letter of intent with the United Nations Technology and Innovation Lab, known as UNTIL, um, that we have a new form of cooperation for participation processes and finding solutions uh, for cities. And then, of course, makes us and me uh, very proud that we will have that in Hamburg. Um, maybe one last remark. Um, some time ago, Hamburg was mainly a port and trade city, a very proud and a very rich port and trade city. I think Hamburg has developed tremendously over the past years because it is currently transforming into a um, vibrating science and innovation metropolis, also with the help of our universities and in particular with the help of the Hafen City University because what is developed here is not ideas and visions for urban build and architecture and, and the way um, cities look like in the in the future but what i just said with the city science lab we have new forms of participation of integrating people of uh, addressing even people that know they have a problem with a certain thing so we actually include everybody so we have a good um, good contribution to, to democracy and, uh, and a good participation uh, process with this interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary approach of the uh, Hafen City, uh, where science and basic research is being transformed into ideas that's, that help societies to grow. And I uh, want to say thank you for that, because that helps to create acceptance for science and research, and in times of fake news, this is exactly the answer to it. So thank you so much to all our universities here in Hamburg and around the world, and in particular, once again, to the Hafen City University. Uh, the motto, I think it's a quite a daring motto, cities without, because on my way here, I thought, what is cities without politics? politicians and politics, so maybe next time you can uh, uh, do, do without, uh, without representatives from, from the city and you find, find your own solutions, but I think it's always a good idea not to keep in touch, but really to exchange and to argue and to find, find the best solutions. Um, but why not think um, to be innovative and, and to try out completely new things, mobility without cars, economies without currencies, why not govern our future cities without bureaucrats, um, cities without, I think that is um, a cool motto and I'm very interested to, to hear and to find out what kind of solutions you come up with, if you come up with solutions, sometimes things, things stay open. So ladies and gentlemen and, and dear all, um, once again, very, a very warm welcome to you here in Hamburg, and I hope you will have an inspiring uh, conference. You will meet as many new people as possible, because every time you meet new people, new ideas uh, will be generated, and I hope you enjoy 
uh, your time here. Thank you so much.